Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to yet another episode Many of Mass Effect 2, the best time. game ever. Shut up, Kelly. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Nope. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Um, unread message. Okay. Um... Mark is red. And what's this? Okay. Wait. Let's mark that as red. Alright, so. Um, what do we need? We, we're gonna help Jacob today, I think. Okay, back. Um, how do I go even, even further? I don't know. I forgot how to play this game. <laughs> okay. Uh, mass relay. Yes. Okay. Help Jacob. Oh, all the way on the other side of the galaxy. Nice. How's our fuel? Might as well. Okay, we're good, we're good. We'll just go out this way then. Okay, right over here. What happens if you go into the sun? Oh, nothing. Nice. Anomaly detected. Okay. What's this then? Okay. Might as well drop some probes. Usage progress. Palladiums used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. We want to get some stuff. We're going to be doing. We're going to do this quite a bit later on. Research projects is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. Uh, let's drop one here. Launching probe. Impact and unscheduled smoke orbital deceleration recorded. General distress. MSV Hugo Gernsback. Registration BW4. I have research projects. Element zero is used for bio amp and omni tool upgrades. Which okay, let's go. Just go. Um, Jacob, who else should we have? Hmm. I don't know. Let's have Miranda. 
the original squad. All right. Uh, bonus rank. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, also level up. About you. Okay. Cool. Let's go. It's been a really long time since I played this. Just kind of want to finish the game now. Go this way. There it is, and mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. That is. Looks like it was stripped after the crash. An Avena sort of thing. As soon as possible. Repeat. Toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Who's in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted in field to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's get going. Let's check the ship. My father had the beacon for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. Avoiding it for a decade seems unlikely. Okay. Let's hack this because why not? Um this one? Yeah, okay. And this. Yay. Yay, we got some credits. Yeah, we need to go here then. Um, I don't know how long this will take. Don't think it takes that long. You came from the sky. The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. Who are you? What was your rank on the Gernsback? Uh, I think the leader thinks for us and and we serve so so we can go home but some want to fight him they were cast out he exiled them so they hunt his machines and those who help him they don't believe that rescue will come watch out hunters they won't stop until the leader is dead kill them Agents of the liar! He will not escape! Incoming! Uh. 
Decay. They were feral. Our father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. You killed them, but there are more every day. They want to fight, but I just want to go home. She's lost. We need to find someone who makes sense of this. They attacked because he exiled them. We serve, so he'll crawl the sky. Okay, well, let's go here then and uh, try to solve this. Um, yeah. So, how is everybody? Strip for parts. Tech's wearing out. How are you all doing? It's been a long time since I uploaded any of this. Is that a settlement? They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Alright. Come on. Be friendly. I don't want to fight you. They're clearly docile, but in the same uniform remnants as those who attacked us. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently. Makes males get violent? Possibly. But the woman on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To... decay. You are cursed with his face! Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Whatever's happening here yeah. is just... He has a cruel face. His cruel face. The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. PDA? Your captain commands obedience. Weapons are free. Oh. Okay, that happened. Patrols like that are a little much against this bunch. Well, that would make them hate it. Please, here. You, you have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read. But this was the start. What he promised and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. It wasn't command material, and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle, or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers, like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. Hmm, apparently thermal paste does not taste nice. I forgot I had some on my fingers and I uh, licked them by accident. Let me be right back. That tastes disgusting. Okay, I'm back. Let's do this. Uh... Yes, do that.
um, cover. Be smart, people. This is Captain Ronald Taylor. I got you here. We're growing insane. I only just got free. God damn it! It's really him. Just got free. He's covering um, his ass. Kind of stuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, some kind of glitch here. Um. Okay, um. <laughs> well, this is slightly unexpected. Oh, there we go. Fixed it. <laughs> All right. Um. The old corpse has been posed like a warning. The new ones were left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. Engaging target. Coming. Yeah, I would my sniper. Try that again, shall we? Okay, not get stuck on this stuff now. Uh, let's just go straight for the sniper, and let's try to go for headshots only. The new ones were left where they fell. The hunters started fighting. Like so. Except actually kill them. He had plenty of choices. A little late to blame his victims. Yeah. Should be dead now. Let me get this ammo. Disruptor. Right, let's go. Automatic. <coughs> This is on cryo, okay. Actually, 
actually should have just gone on cryo nine, nine. the way. Okay, well, it's just death. Okay, I want to scan this. Ooh, that's nice. We're gonna need loads. Loads of those. Okay, trying to find this. Yes. Okay. Dead. I didn't lock on for some reason. Oh, fuck's sake. Here we go. Alright, let's go. Sniper on this guy. Uh, run for fuck's sake. I'll take care of oh. humans. So we can go home. Not to get hot. All right. Good. Damn. Enough with the toys. I need to look my father in the eye and hear him justify this. Okay. All's good. All right. Uh, where do we go? Here. Yeah. Do I shoot? Nah, I can't shoot. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you're acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not unreasonable, Captain, but ten years? What happened? God damn it! Why did you do this to your crew? 
There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. We can help these people. Cerberus can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. He's not worth the fuel to haul him out or the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. We'll secure him for an Alliance court. For every year here, he'll have ten to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. I'm ten years past believing that. Okay. So, well, that happened. Um, okay. Uh, so, I think I think we're coming to the end of the episode now. We'll just talk to a few crew members because that seemed quite short. So we'll talk. We'll just talk to a few crew, crew members. Alliance ships are inbound to secure Captain Taylor and his crew, Commander. We'll be long gone by the time they get here. Don't even give them the tail lights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did, but I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine, you didn't forward it, so who did? I did. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison. Doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Come on, we've got work to do. I, Commander. Shepard, thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. All right, so, uh, let's go. To here, I guess. Let's talk to the crew. Still hard to believe Malin betrayed me, betrayed my work, disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Always thought he lacked backbone. Hope he finds something new, better goal, better purpose, fewer torture tests. You're really at peace with what happened? Yes, of course. Can't change what happened. Life continues. Back to mission, back to work. Become like Malin otherwise. Solarian emotional processing faster than other species. Has to be. Short-lived culture can't spend time reminiscing. So you really don't feel bad at all about what happened on Tachanka? Yes, correct. Now at least. Greatly distressed at the time. Stages of grief, loss, anger, rationalization. Dealt with it. 
Most issues settled on Tuchanka, some on shuttle back to Normandy. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tuchanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later. Okay, let's talk to Peter. Let's go talk to Jacob. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. And don't worry, it will not affect how I do my job. It's over. I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Commander. Okay. We're gonna need to like upgrade weapons and stuff, so that's gonna take a long time, and I'll do that off camera, I think. Commander, um, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okay. 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 Cool. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Okay. That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Uh, let's go down here. Talk to some of the crew. Uh, here's Thane. So let's talk to him. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. The Hanor trained my body for this role since I was six years old. Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us. Some of us from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the compact. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch. He dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies. Drell slip into memory so easily. Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Okay. Um. Let's talk to Samara. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. What will you do now that Morath is gone? Assuming I survive your mission? I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists. And perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you. Okay, so now let's go talk to other crew members. So they have showers, like right there. Shepard, the men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. 
Yeah, well, maybe we'll shower with some women. Okay, so... Who can we talk to? The commander has put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. We might just pull this mission up. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself, for what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life, and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister. A friend. Are you going to talk to her again? I honestly don't know. For once, I haven't planned that far ahead. I'll deal with it after our mission. I have to stay focused, and she needs time to adjust to her new home. It's funny, I think of you as all business. Good to see that there's a person under there. The mission's too important to let personal feelings interfere. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to Garrus. I think we've like taught him like once. How can I help you, Commander? You have everything you need. If you happen to find any of those supplies on the list I gave you, it would be much appreciated. Otherwise, I'm doing fine. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. What supplies? I forgot about supplies. <laughs> I'll do them eventually. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedonis. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. People don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full-contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing. Nice. Well, yeah, let's talk to the doctor. How may I help you, Commander? Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres Ice Brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Didn't I get one before? I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. I swear I got one. Uh... 
Um, I know. I thought I got one. Okay, uh, let's go down to Tali, Grunt, and Jack. So, let's go here. Kila, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. All that infighting, seeing what my father did. It's strange, but being exiled doesn't even bother me that much. Aren't there any political cards you can play to get them to reconsider? Nothing is final. Maybe something we find on the Collector homeworld will be worth my reinstatement. But if not, I don't have any regrets. I'm right where I want to be. I just wanted to check in. Thanks, Shepard. I'm really okay, but I appreciate you asking. Okay. Go down here to Jack. I need to get to Pragya, Shepard. Soon. Remind me what you wanted me to do. I need your help to face my past with Cerberus. Yes, we'll blow that up in the next episode. Um, which will be coming very soon. Uh, well, you know what I mean. I'll end this soon. Right, where's Grunt? He's here. Shepard? Just checking in. How you doing? The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Grant would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. Uh... Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. So you started small. But you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. Okay. Well then, uh... I think that about does it for this episode, so thank you for watching, and as always I'll see you in the next one, which will be out next week hopefully. Thank you for watching, have a good day, bye bye.